Well, hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Mini Motorways. This is an upcoming game, it's a sequel to Mini Metro, a game that absolutely slapped and I loved it to death. Full disclosure, I've already put a bunch of hours into Mini Motorways, I am really enjoying it, I knew I would, there is something about this traffic management i miss my calling i should have been a traffic flow engineer uh, i've ranted on the channel many times about how i just find the the fascinating how traffic behaves like a hive mind at scale um and this game just is so good it's an absolute blessing uh we'll jump into it and i'll, I'll be able to show you what it's all about uh, i've played quite a few of the levels you can see you've got daily challenges and you've got weekly challenge. I haven't given the weekly challenge a go, but it is like uh, Hitman. It's one and done because it's sort of the same seed. You can't just keep farming it over and over again. But we do have a whole bunch that we can unlock. Can I use the arrow keys? I can. And uh, just to give you an idea, if you get up to like, say, Dubai, I've nearly unlocked everything. Um, what, what, what can I say? This game kept me going till 5am, couldn't help it. Um, so you, there you go, you have to complete 400 trips on, say, Rio de Janeiro. It's just getting harder, more, more tools get offered, like bridges and or tunnels. Um, so there is a, a rudimentary unlock requirement, but it's not too complex. Look, we'll just go with the LA map for the moment. There's also a dark mode, um, and an alternate as well. So if, you, if you're not loving the color system, I'm not that really worried about the, the bright ones but uh but it's there for people that don't love that um so we'll start with this sort of la map and get into it so it has a pretty basic rule set you can actually um pause and you can put it in two speeds as well you can pull it down here to have a look and at the end of the week you essentially get like a card pack as with most roguelike sort of games you know you get a reward so once we get through to sunday we're going to get more bits to play with but for the moment all we've got is Hmm. Don't, maybe we have a bridge, but we've got 25 road tiles. So this is a destination. It generates these little pips. And if it fills up, it'll go to like a doom timer. You you know, it's like a, a shit yourself, you know, let's deal with this now or you're going to lose sort of scenario. Uh, and, uh, and that's sort of how you brick your game out is if you don't actually get all the pips. There's two little cars in this garage. If we connect it up on this grid, then they'll start driving to uh to satisfy the pip requirement and then he'll park you get the pip we get one up here in the top and it basically uh i'm pretty sure it's a fixed rate that it's going to generate them at uh and then it will actually upgrade at a certain point and then increase the the rate so the building sort of develops so um and then uh, and that's that's basically as complex as it gets you've got some traffic you know uh traffic lights and roundabouts that sort of thing bridges to get over water but um that's that's all there is to it but the complexity happens when this sort of stuff starts to happen now what we can do you can change the facing of the starting road and everything's reversible you can delete everything we'll do that you can also do some interesting like ergonomically sort of aesthetically pleasing looking tr roads like that you have to be careful because the game seems to have some hidden rules right for example here like in real life this would be the main road and this is the sort of side road right and so if you do a t-junction like this cars tend to just zip along at full pace they don't slow down but if you create like a sort of uh, emerging road situation i have found um that might not be the best example against the garage but we'll see but what what you can oh he didn't slow down because he was going home maybe if we get one of these cars out but what you'll find is they actually slow down to sort of give way you know kind of kind of like in real life they've got to check the complex uh, uh, junction, right? Um, so as much as it's tempting to make all these really aesthetically pleasing and looking uh, smooth edges, it actually starts to punish you a little bit the further on you go if you start to comp make them complicated. If it's just sort of one path, it's fine. But going back to sort of Roman roads and proper junctions, and but managing it all properly as well seems to work better but that's just my take i could be wrong um we don't really need a bridge but a roundabout couldn't hurt so we'll go on full speed 
Now, the other thing is that the, it will supply only two cars, and the car has to return as well, right? So, and it will draw from the closest car available. So, this, this it runs on its own internal rule set that you get your head around. Uh, a couple of things I've figured out. It really helps to have suburban sort of cul-de-sac kind of setups, sort of like what we've done here in a rudimentary fashion. It'd be good if we had a bridge, hey? But we don't. That's it. It's not the end of the world if we don't connect this because it's not the closest garage, though we do have two demands here. But ultimately, if we can try and get colours grouped into, let's call them neighbourhoods, you know, sort of gated communities where there's one sort of inroad that you can manage and, and then they sort of depart from there, it, it makes the traffic management infinitely easier. Um, that's a pain. So we'll have to get a bridge on the next one. Unless we're... Are we given a free bridge to start? Oh, I think we are. There we go. Um, well, let's just do something like that, right? And if you can avoid a full-on four-way junction, that's probably for the best. But these little sort of T-junctions and that, they, they go okay. So let's sort of get a bit of a neighborhood going, right? And let's see. And you can right click to delete. It's all pretty, pretty straightforward. What if we do something like that? So they drive on the pre-existing road when that happens. See, he just sort of fanged through there. But the thing I did notice at scale is that, that, that if you have a road with a whole bunch of things like the main road doing this, then your cars will actually slow down lots to check the corner. There might not actually be traffic present, but they're cognizant of it. Can we build... No, we don't have a... Uh... Hmm. Hmm. So, we'll piggyback off of this for the moment. Though, we're going to want to... Uh... If, we can, if we can separate that out, the better. Wouldn't mind a bridge, yeah. And you can see, it might not be immediately obvious, but it is gently zooming out, so it scales up. Remember when we were just, the full screen was this and this house, and that was it? Yeah, it, it very gently zooms out, and before you know it, you're running an entire city. Okay, so things are going all right. We're holding the rate so far. We definitely want a bridge. Traffic lights are handy. Uh, I, pr I prefer roundabouts, be well, because they, they are better. Um, like, they uh, they try and combat flow issues where a traffic light kind of concedes the flow issue, right? Um, so what I actually want to do is run this around here. And we'll do that. So, and, and you know what? Look, for those that want to enjoy something pretty to look at, I'm, I will do that. So, you know, I, I like right angles. Anyone that's seen me build any colony in any of the, any game ever, I love my right angles, right? But um, but when it's a simple path like that, yeah, it absolutely makes sense to make it a, a direct line as well. Um, what is going on here? What are we going to do with you? So we've got a little neighborhood there. We've got a little neighborhood here. I, I would love another bridge to, to connect this up. Um, definitely don't have one. Um, so what we'll do is, well, actually we won't even, we might not even need to connect that up, to be honest. And then this bloke, you gotta be careful when they spawn on the next, next to a road, they'll just auto connect to it. I think, I think these guys will be kept under control here, so that's fine. We'll just keep an eye on that. Well, isn't that interesting? Um, now, I guess we could just connect that up for the moment. You just have to be cognizant of where the congestion's going to get you. See, right now, that car's not even issuing dudes because... This one's got it under control. See, now I don't like this. What I would much prefer, if we're going to make a new little neighborhood, we do something like that. It interferes with the main road so much less. Well, that's worked out fairly well, hasn't it? Got it. Oh, oh. 
Now, we could just squeeze you in diagonally there. Jury's still out on whether I like that or to run it around the outside. I'm not sure yet. Um, see this four-way junction? I try and avoid that as much as possible. It seems to create congestion problems. Oh, we're doing okay. Bridge. Did I say I wanted a bridge? I'm pretty sure I said I wanted a bridge. Um, if only for down here. Now, you challenge me, game. I want that to be the same neighbourhood. I don't want these roads to cross. Uh, but is it worth running that all the way around? Let's try something. Now, a part of this is going to be idiosyncratic, right? There's there's plenty of ways to build it. Oh, no, don't do that. I want to save that bridge. Okay. Okay. Well, I think there's no getting around it, so we're just going to have to... Bridge that straight across. All right. And we might just... Now, the interesting thing is, if we just leave this junction, we'll see what happens when the, uh, the red cars start in on it. See, these sort of things, they look cool, but they actually don't really uh, help you out. They, get, they, uh, they often will stop and, you know, kind of look both ways. I think, where is he going? He's going home. It's not so bad here because it's just all red. Right, and we've got blue over here. How many uh, roads do I have? Hmm. I would love to just run a separate line, but I don't know if we're going to have the juice for that. Oh, one will do. That's nice. I like that. Oh, perfect. Yeah, see, now you see there, that was a perfect example. You could probably re re rewind the video. There is no traffic, yet this guy stopped and slowed down. He didn't stop, but he slowed down to look both ways. And that, I think, is sort of the real the real thing to master, is the, is the junction system. Avoid four-way junctions at all costs. Um, okay, so we're getting away with this here. So that's working. So there's something to be said about that. See these three ones, see they, they do zip through the T-junctions pretty hard. Hmm. So yeah, like I said, I'm no expert. We're just having a bit of a look at it. I've just happened to have played a bit of this beforehand because I, I love the previous game. So I knew this game was gonna absolutely slap. Um, see now this upsets me. Uh, a ridiculous amount. I want you in the same neighborhood. Now, how do we do that? How do we do that? Maybe we do something like, oh, well, I've run out of bloody tiles. It's Saturday, so we'll wait for new tiles. We're not in strife. Like, what am I going to do with this bloody thing? Probably, if we actually run that direct, how, however, uh, yeah. There's always going to be an exception to the rule, right? Traffic lights we don't need. Bridges will... This bloody LA River is killing me. <laughs> um, let's see. How do I... How do I... I like that. Yeah, that's like got a little neighborhood and got a little neighborhood there. Yeah, but we've also got a through. Well, I guess you got through here as well. The funny thing is that once you start to make these large neighborhoods with an in and out on either side, they start to uh, like, obviously they only attract local traffic. Because why wouldn't they? 
Alright, there's no getting around that. Maybe we will commit a bridge to that later on, but this will single-handedly, like, fuel this. Well, maybe not actually, there's some closer houses there. Interesting. Now these guys aren't doing much at all, they're just not involved. Uh, what more could we do with them? Is the question. We could probably... Yeah, but would they even have a closer path than, than that? I don't know, probably not. Looks a bit prettier. Um, though, I've just undermined myself because I kind of want that to... Ah, yes. Scarlet, you're an idiot. I see. Let's just do it like that. Let's just do that. Because then they can zip around to help there if they need to. Now that's interesting, he's upgraded. So they probably are gonna have to get in the game now. Um, what are we gonna do about that? What indeed? Um, you can already see it's starting to fall apart a little bit. How have we got, yeah, okay. Right. Yellow. That's not perfect. Could use another roundabout, to be perfectly honest. We'll leave that for the moment. See what the traffic does. Because there's something to be said about watching the traffic and seeing how it deals with the, the problems I throw at it. Like, for example, these little blue cars are actually taking that as a shorter path. We'll take the motorway because I want to show off the motorway. But, like, we should probably make this easier for those blue cars. They seem pretty keen to... to go that way. Um, how much path have we got? Not a lot. Oops. Probably neaten that up a bit, but whatever. All right, so Red's having a little bit of a bloody hard time getting down to this. This thing's upgraded. We've got a perfectly good Red neighborhood up here. And these two cars, they're not doing anything. Like, not really. So, Smart Cookie would put this motorway. So, we're going to place that there. And then we drag it all the way down to there. And all of a sudden, these cars are probably going to be the most efficient ones to complete this mission. They go faster over the motorway as well. Well, look at that. Isn't that a spanner in the works? See, and it just keeps creeping out as well. I feel like the way that I keep pushing main roads around neighborhoods to zone the neighborhoods in together, like the I feel the game knows that that's a smart strategy, not to pat myself on the back too much, because it does this. It, it, it constantly adds things, not here, but there. Like it keeps forcing me to rezone my roads further and further out. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like that. Stop that game. Let's put that there. Right. Uh, 
bastard. <laughs> so, now, interestingly, we want to connect this up. See, this junction I've kind of, this nightmare fuel that I've made of a junction. Probably don't want that. Let's, uh... Do that. No, no, you stay there. I grabbed the wrong end. Ah, do we have a bridge? We do. Run out of road. You've got to be careful in this situation. Where are we on? Friday? Because if you run out of road, this thing will start demanding pips and we could brick if we don't feed it what it wants. Yeah, see how we've sort of got a pass through through the red, this red neighborhood. So it's not pure cul-de-sac, I suppose. Like it's it, it has a through road. The thing is, <clears throat> only local traffic is interested in using that through road. Um, bridge, motorway. I mean, we could probably use the 20 road, though. As Like, the motorway is so good, but we need the road. Okay. Let's do this. Something like that. Bit of a mess, but whatever. Just tie it all together so it works. So this blue over here is having a little bit of a hard time, but that's because of our, our route's gone further and further around, sort of trying to get around the red neighborhood. So that's probably a good candidate for a... Uh, um, uh, a, a motorway or whatever it is called, you know, overpass thing. What's going on here? Well, the blue one upgraded, so take a wild guess what this game's got in store for me now. Um, I've got this weird yellow stuff going on over here. Strange little neighborhood development. Okay, so blue's becoming a little bit of a headache. Run out of road. We're on a Friday. That's okay. Red seems to be under control now, which is good. Okay, we're doing all right. Though, yeah, blue, definitely. Bridge, traffic lights. Probably bridge. Makes you wonder about blue. I guess what we could do is run it through the center here down this main road we've got. This little red dude doing his own thing. Yeah, I think that might actually be the go. Um, do we go diagonal or straight out? Let's go straight out. There you go. Nice. And then we could probably do... No, it's a little fiddly, but it's all right. Do that. Now, they'll, they'll likely prefer that. Look at that. Yeah, immediately jump straight on it. So we're starting to approach potential congestion. I think we've done all right to keep it mostly under control. 
Look at that, it's starting to really alleviate blue, which is good. It's interesting what dictates what to level up, right? Because this was not one of the first... In fact, I think this was... The was this not the first building we had? Maybe it was this one. See, so these circles are the upgrades, but this thing definitely came late to the party, but then they decided to upgrade it. So there's a random, you know, algorithm pushing all this forward. Okay, this is a problem. This is a huge problem. Um, all right, where's a yellow neighborhood in there? And then we've got this one over here. We really need another one of those. Now, you can delete these. We might even repurpose it because, well, reasons. Um, look at this random one over here. Don't know what to do with you. Um, we might actually delete that because this is gonna, now this is going to create a new wave of red congestion. All right, and we might actually run this from all the way back there to there. So our light blues are having some problems now. Oh, now there, that was the warning that popped up. It, gives, it still gives you a little bit. Yeah, okay, so when that thing fills up, we're cooked. Motorway, let's go. That might solve our problems here. Now, are you connected or you don't think you are? So this, this blue is probably contributing the least to anything at the moment. Um, yeah, and this is a little bit of a thoroughfare. Oh, hard to say. We might actually put a little bit of a nip of road there. We'll run this to there. That might help out. Oh no, <laughs> get stuffed. Oh man, uh, well look, you got a brick eventually, right? Uh, I think that day is not far from, uh, not far away. And we've got all this yellow here as well, probably sprung up specifically to deal with this problem. So we might actually go big balls to the wall, delete that. Um, oh, no. What are you doing? Ten. Um, um, yeah. What am I going to do? It's Monday as well. We, yeah, I think we're in a spot. Though this thing's probably gonna. Oh, look, they're fighting it back. Oh, look at this one though. Oh, see how quickly the pips fill up. See the problem? And because now that motorway's been deleted. Okay. Um. God, what can I do here? I think I think we're stuffed. To be honest. Because we're not actually servicing this at all. Like, the only Hail Mary I can think of is to delete this motorway and try and run one to there. Just to buy us a bit of time, get us through the week to the, to the extra roads. Interestingly, the congestion's not terrible. I think I've managed to, you know, stave it off. Like, like we've got some suspect areas here, but they're not congesting. Oh, okay. Now that's going to mess with our blue. Motorway or more road? Motorway, I would say, because we've been we've been really making the most of them. Oh, 
Oh, that's interesting. Oh, whoops, yeah, I must have hit the edge of it by accident. Um. Um. And now we're starting to get busy. Look at this yellow in here. You see what I mean? It's playing with me. However, this road doesn't get use anymore. Remember, we sort of replaced it. So let's get rid of it. Yellow's in trouble here. So we've got all this yellow that's not going anywhere. So I think we... Um... I, mean, I could just dump it straight there and see what happens. Oh, look at the blue. And the light blue as well. Another motorway, let's go. We'll just keep band-aiding my problems away, eh? Stuff it straight in there. Like, even the flow around this isn't terrible. You can see, though, the on-ramps to these motorways do, do get a little bit clogged. Once you get to this scale, you start to miss all the things. Let's just connect you up, just so you're there. Hmm, can't seem to delete that. I wonder what that's about. Can delete that. I've got bridges. Roundabout traffic lights, maybe traffic lights. We haven't really gotten them involved. Let's put that on that road. That's not good. Um, I'm almost at a point where I cut this neighborhood in half just to make a better, better line for this. Uh, you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, I might do that actually. Let's go. Oops. All right. I don't think this road's... Oh, maybe for red it's being used? Interesting. We'll see. Hmm. 
Eh, I don't like that. <laughs> I want my neighborhood to be neat and tidy. God damn it. Maybe we just jam this down here, see what happens. Yeah, we might need a... I don't have a roundabout, sadly. Around about there be perfect. Becoming problem. Motorway. Anyway, look. As you can see, it's addicting. I'm not going to want to stop, and I'm going to have to, because we, we're going past that sort of half-hour mark. But, um, you know, we've done 1,500 or whatever. Like, that's pretty cool. I guess um, I guess we could just brick it, just to give you an idea. Like, might as well show what happens. Uh, I mean, what happens if I do this? Let's just let's just cut the cord on, on blue. Oh, there's probably still some deliveries in transit. So obviously it's going to stop sending cars. That's not great. But we'll let it fill up. There we go. And all that, once that timer fills up, we're stuffed. So there you go. And make sure you know it, that's for sure. I think it's slowed down a little bit there. Hmm. There we go. What's this? 88 days, 118 commuters. Oh, that might be PB. I can't remember. Yeah, there you go. Not bad. And that's it. That's all it is, and that's all it needs to be. And if you get this game, you're going to play it until your eyes bleed and, and lose track of time and, you know, forget to look after yourself as a human, which, you know, that's the hallmark of a good game as far as I'm concerned. Anyway. What an absolute rip snorter of a game, mini motorways. Check it out. Uh, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I will catch you guys on the next one.